February 12th of 2014, the Corvette Museum here in Bowling Green had a sinkhole and numerous cars fell into the ground. Look at that stunning sinkhole though at the National Corvette Museum in Kentucky. Eight classic cars all swallowed up and it was all caught on camera. Corvette lovers are gearing up this morning to help save some of the damaged classics. A sinkhole at the National Corvette Museum in Kentucky literally just swallowed up eight vintage sports cars last night. If you're a true Corvette fan or you live with one, that means you've been maintaining a kind of silent vigil for those eight beautiful one-of-a-kind collector's edition Corvettes. The ground, the ground completely, completely caves, caves swallowing, swallowing the, the iconic, iconic cars. cars. As crews did, they're finding, they're finding memories, memories very deep. deep. This, this sinkhole, 40, 40 feet, feet across, across and 30, 30 feet deep, deep opening, opening up inside, inside the showroom and swallowing eight, eight classic, classic Corvettes. Corvettes. They're gonna take us down into the sinkhole so we can see what's going on. You can see behind me there's a few of the cars. Some of them were refurbished, some of them weren't. This one right behind me was on a lift. They have not found the lift. They don't know where it is, it's gone. Never coming back. Okay, so let me get this other boot on. And then we're gonna get down there and give you all access. By the way, this is Andy's All Access. And welcome to Bowling Green, the Corvette Museum. Hello! Yeah, you got someone down there. You going first? Show me how to get on that ladder. This one here, this one here, this one here. Ah, going down. Holy crap. When you get to the bottom, off the left. My left or your left? I'm only kidding. <laughs> How am I doing? Awesome. I've seen this in a movie once. Holy crap. This is nuts. Oh. Okay. My next foot here. Oh. It's crazy down here. Wait till you see what's going on down here. I'm not even joking around. This is nuts. Oh my god, it's crazy. This is like a real cave. I thought I was gonna see like a floor. It's just a, a cave with rocks everywhere and there's some uh, lights they put down there. There's some grass growing down here. There's some car parts over in the right. It's crazy. We're giving you all access to the sinkhole at the Bowling Green Corvette Museum. I can't believe I'm sweating. It's nice down here too, by the way. It's not even, it's cool down here. This is gonna take your breath away. Oh my. Does everyone get this excited? Or is it just me? Yeah, <laughs> so here we are uh, in the sinkhole. And uh, we're going to go down there and get some more footage from down there. But I wanted to show you what it's like from up here. And I'm, I'm on this slant here. I'm going to climb down with this rope. It's nuts. Now, now um, this rope ain't going to burn my hands, is it? Oh, I don't care about that. Yeah. Now you went down through this here, right? <coughs> and then go this way? Okay. Ooh. This way? Okay. Oh, now I'm walking. Look at me, he's like a big boy, I'm walking forward. Come around the outside of it. Wow. Nuts. Okay, oh, my name is... Oh, okay. Oh, you, no rope for you? You showing me off? No. <laughs> Oh. Now 
Now, once you get down here, yeah. you're going to be able to go up. It's slippery. How am I getting back up? Very slippery, very light. No, I mean, my hand is slippery. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Is that a shock? The bike booster mask is on out of my left hand. Yep. Looking like Otis? Yep. There's the hole to get out. Up there. Oh, it's crazy down here. So how many cars fell down? Eight cars. You feel good on your feet? Yep. Walk over here and you can come over here and stay. Come to you, right? <clears throat> Sir? Yeah. Stuff going on? Well, that's what I was looking for. You good? Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I'd rather hold your hand. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. Go ahead. You good? Yeah. Alright. Okay, hold on. Here I come. We moved to a different part of the sinkhole and uh, they have some lights down here as you can see. There's some car parts down here. Let me uh, get around to some of them and that's the bumper from the PPG car. Uh -huh. Yeah. Part of it. That's crazy. First of all, welcome to uh, Bowling Green. We're underneath the Corvette Museum that sunk on February 12th, 2014 into a sinkhole. We're down in here. Uh, Chevy and GM invited us here to take a look, to bring it all to you and show it to you, to see. It's nuts down here, I'm sorry, I came to think straight. It's crazy down here, but you're gonna love this. Wait till you see all this footage, it's nuts. There's car parts down here, there's water dripping from the ceiling. Um, they put lights down here. Um, we had to climb down a 30-foot ladder to get down here, then use a rope to get to where I am now. Um, I can see down into the floor deeper in here. I'm, I'm going to try and get my camera down there in a minute. It's just nuts down here. Now we're in the deepest part of the hole here. I found the light on the camera. So we definitely can see down in here a little better. Uh, I'm standing on rocks, as you can see right here. And over my shoulder, if you see, it's like not easy to get the hell out of here. So anyway. That's the deepest part of the sinkhole. There's water coming out of the walls. And... All right, so we're gonna climb out of here. Come on, let's go. Oh, the rope is slippery. Should I go around that way or straight up? To the right or go to the left? Okay. Ugh. Here's the tricky one, right? I'm gonna left foot here, then right foot here. I made it. I'm coming back up. It's nuts down here. Oof. I'm coming up slow. By the way, I'm filthy. I had to wipe my hands on my pants. What an experience. It's crazy down here. I'm sweating, I'm out of breath. This is nuts. Wow. You guys gotta come here. I don't think I let you down here. This is Andy's little access and I'm coming out of the hole. 30 feet down, I'm coming up. It's nuts down here. Wait till you see it. Oh, shit. Here's where I fall down. Let me think here.
Want me to come down and help you up? <laughs> it's nuts down there. I will. I held your hand the whole time down there. He had to hold my hand, by the way. Okay. This is crazy. Okay. Can I leave these here for someone? Because I'll never wear them again. Can I leave them here for someone else to wear? Yeah. He held my hand, go down there. You can tell them you held my hand. Tell them it's okay. He had to hold my hand. Not because I was afraid, I wasn't a scaredy cat. He had to, he had to hold my hand because, ah! No, it's really steep down there. See my hands? I had to wipe them on the back because I was, the rope getting down there was so muddy. Oh. When I first got down there, and I walked to the, you know, if you look at the ladder to the left, I was like, holy shit. And I was literally like, like, and he's like, are you okay? I was losing my footing. These are all the cars that fell in the hole that's within this gate fence here? Yes. So we restored the 1962 in-house, and then the ZR1 and the one millionth Corvette, we uh, worked with General Motors and they graciously restored those for us. Now the, the one millionth, the white car, mm -hmm. um, when they opened it up to start the work, they found the signatures of all the people that had built and worked on that car, who oh, built wow. it on the assembly line. So they were able to save all but one signature when they repaired it and tracked down the lady and had her sign the new part when they, and put it on the car. These are the eight cars that fell into the sinkhole on February 12th of 2014. So if you take a look to the right over here, this Corvette was restored here at the Corvette Museum. And behind it, you see the white, the white Corvette behind it. That's the one millionth Corvette that came off the assembly line. What you're looking at here is a 2001 Z06 post February 12th, 2014. That's after it fell into the sinkhole. This is how they took it out and left it exactly the way it was. All this dirt and debris is all what was stuck on the car when they took it out of the sinkhole. So if you really like the dirt and the rocks, we sell jars of it in our gift shop and we've sold over $50,000 worth of dirt. So what happened like the day after when everyone kind of came back to work? Like what was it like in here? It was pretty somber because you know when this happened we didn't really know what to expect. Of course the day it happened, you know the question was will insurance cover this that kind of thing and of course car enthusiasts all over the world. I mean a lot of people were very upset because to a lot of people you know these cars they're very passionate about it. Some of them don't have kids so some of them treat their cars like that's their children. Yeah. And, you know, we even got some sympathy cards sent in the mail when this happened. So we're glad that we were able to recover and the insurance covered it. And it's turned into a big tourist attraction for us. When they took these cars out and everything, they didn't even find the lift that one of the cars was on. It was yeah. so buried underneath. Yeah, is it this, this one? Yeah, this black car. It was, it was on a rather large black lift. And as much digging as we did to recover the cars, we never found it. We never found all the barriers around the cars either. So that just goes to show you how much debris and rock fell in with the right. hole. So there could have been a hole, you know, 20 by 20, and that hole caused a 60 by whatever 40, hole, yeah. 40, and, and everything fell into it, and that caused even a bigger hole down there, like, like the domino effect. Yeah, it was basically the roof of the cave that just collapsed, and everything fell in with it. When I first got down into the cave, I was very overwhelmed. I got a little bit lightheaded, was sweating a little bit. Um, it's different down there. I, I, it's hard to explain. You have to watch the video to see. It's an experience I'll never forget. And then to look at the cars that were down there when I came up and walked around and every, you know, it was just, like I said, very overwhelming. You know, people that love cars, like the people that work here are like Corvette enthusiasts. They're not just people that have a job working at Corvette. These people actually love their job, love Corvettes, and are, are in this business because of their passion. So they're very passionate about what they do, and it's just a great, it was a great experience. I, I'm thankful to do it. It was great. The feeling down there, the humidity, is just, it was an odd feeling. And then to hold on to a rope and climb down deeper into the cave, it's just, it was like overwhelming is the word I can use, it was overwhelming. I gotta tell you, if you like American cars and you like Corvettes, 
you should come here to the Corvette Museum and visit them on corvettemuseum.org. It's a great place. The cars here are amazing. They switch them out every couple of months. So you can come twice a year, once a year, whatever you want, and there's always new cars here. Um, you get to see a little bit about the sinkhole. You can't actually go down there, but you can watch my video and go down there. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe down below, and I'll catch you soon. So don't forget, museum, corvettemuseum.org. Just go there and check it out. If you like this video, stay tuned for my next video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon on Andy's All Access.